Mortimer's Family Farm, and we got a ton of veggies and fruits that we freshly picked. So I'm going to show you a bunch of pictures right now of the great time we had. to prepare each food but I won't be showing you step by step on how to make them but it's still gonna be a fun and cute video hi everyone so as you saw in the picture I had these so what these are is fried zucchini slices so I took some golden zucchini and some regular green zucchini, chopped it up, and just took some pancake batter and dipped the zucchinis in that. And then I fried that in oil, and then I added salt, and then I'm going to serve it with ranch. So I'm gonna try one now. Oh yeah, this smells really good. Man, I go. If you're not a fan of vegetables, you can barely taste the vegetable. But it tastes like super good. Like, like you can taste the vegetable, but you can't taste that it's a vegetable. But it's so good. I think I have to say it's better than fried pickles. Like it is so good. I definitely recommend this. Yeah. This look like zucchini. Yep, buy zucchini. Mmm, we're good. Scale one out of ten. Damn. Yeah. So for this one, I boiled some cauliflower. This is a golden cauliflower. Again, freshly picked from the golden. And then I added some sliced butter, which is now all melted, and some Parmesan cheese, and of course some salt. So let's try it. Oh, wow. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's really soft. And has great flavor. Mmm. It's good. Yeah, Shut. It's just talking to you so just so you guys know, like with the golden cauliflower, there's definitely like a mild flavor. I am not sure if that is because this is golden or if it's because it is like straight from the foam, super fresh, but it's good. What's that called, mommy? ASMR. Like the cauliflower is kind of like Hold up. Wait one second. Have you subscribed yet? If you haven't, make sure to go and subscribe to my channel. And also give this video a big thumbs up. 
And also comment down below suggestions of videos you would like me to make on the wooden spoon. Now I'll let you guys get back to the video. Okay guys, so another one of the foods that we did was patty pan. So this is a type of squash. So what we did to cook this was we baked this with garlic, basil, and a little bit of salt. So let's try it. And we also did fresh basil to make it even better. And it was also butter that we baked it with. Three, two, one. Mm-hmm. Mm. There's so much flavor. It's like so flavorful and really good. Yes. So another thing that you can also do with the patty pan is fry it using pancake batter and it is so good as well. Mm. So we were looking in the bell pepper pole of it and we couldn't find any peppers which we really sad about and then I found these peppers. It's a purple pepper. It's kind of hard to see on camera. It looks black but it's purple and in the inside it's a green and I don't know what these are and for preparation you just have to wash and slice. Let's try it. Uh-uh. There's a bat. I want to cut it out. It's weird. Like, I don't know how to describe it. But, like, I, I like the very best. It's like, whoa, this is, like, the best pepper ever. And then you, like, finish biting, and then it's just, like, your brain just goes to spit it out. I don't like it. It's real. No. Zero. No. No. Don't get these things. They're bad. Okay, you guys, so we have our corn. So all I did for this corn is just untake the little hay peel things. And then I just boiled it all. And then you can add butter. I personally don't like butter on my corn. And if you like, Danielle, corn, everyone has had it. No, because this corn is the fresh, fancy, good corn. I mean, I picked this like a couple hours ago, fresh today, and there's like no like weird chemicals or pesticides. So, we're going to try it now. Hot. More. That was so much better than like regular corn. It's like really sweet and there's like a lot more juice in it, making it really juicy and just delicious. But it's really hot. You should do a lie. Well, are you taking a video? Ooh, that one's pretty. Look how pretty. Good one. Found great. Now eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna bite. Eat as much as you want. It's good. And then you gotta do a live. So this is just in the cooking of the beans. And if you're wondering, wait, I thought these are purple. They were purple. So these are these really cool purple beans that are supposed to taste creamy when they're cooked. And again, these are also freshly picked. But as they were cooking, they were supposed to turn green. And that's what's happening. Okay, 
you guys so for this one we have the purple beans I feel again so as they cook they turn green but these are not <laughs> these are not green beans at all and I can't stand beans at all but I'm being made to eat one so we're gonna try one Why do I think it's okay? Okay. It's okay. <laughs> and just so you guys know how I prepared these, I prepared these green beans by boiling them in some uh, boiling water and goofy. It's okay. And then I just add some salt afterwards and some butter afterwards and then they weren't too bad but I'm not gonna eat another one but my mom on the other hand is obsessed with them she like keeps eating them and eating them and eating them so thank you oh my god you guys so it is dessert and so what I did with my freshly picked strawberries is I turned it into a strawberry cobble. And with my blackberries, I also turned it into a blackberry cobble. So let's try it. I added some vanilla bean ice cream also. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's so good. Oh yeah. Sweet, not too sweet. You can taste that nice crunchiness, the great strawberry flavor with the syrup. Hint of lemon, it's just perfect. So, for the last one, I also made a blackberry cobble using my blackberries. And if you want to learn how to make this, make sure to check out my wooden spoon recipe that will be coming out soon so thank you guys so much again for watching this video okay i want to take a bite now get some ice cream okay mm. The perfect amount of crisp topping. It was so good with the ice cream. Mm-hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had such a great time eating it all. It was so delicious. Hopefully you guys liked watching it. So thanks again. Bye!